What's going on everyone? We're here in the new Antonelli Baseball Facility and today we're talking about how high level players take batting practice. And this is major league players if you're a baseball player, if you're a softball player, this is high level collegiate and professional players. You're gonna see a very sim similar thing regardless of who you watch, if you watch a really high, high level player. And I've had the opportunity in my life to hit with some of the best players in the world and almost all of them take a very similar batting practice. And so we're gonna talk about four things that you'll notice when you watch these players. And the first thing you're gonna notice is that a lot of these players will have a lower effort level when they're hitting BP, especially at the beginning of their round. You'll almost always see, especially the first round, but it can last longer than the first round of BP, you will see a pretty slow and controlled and low effort swing by hitters. So you very, very, very rarely, I don't know if I've ever seen a major league player come out especially again in the first round, and you see that they're just like, just gripping it around, they're just trying to just blast balls, right? You'll almost never, ever see that. Now, you go watch a lower level of baseball and you'll see some hitters from the first swing just trying to hit homers to the pull side. But you'll see a lot of high level players, especially early in the rounds, everything is slow and controlled, the, the effort level, level is pretty low, and they're just working balls to the right center field gap, and it might not even be that you're just hitting it that way, but everything is slow and controlled, right? They're working on controlling their body. They're working at a low effort level to begin with. So that's the first thing that you'll see is low effort. Now, the second thing you'll see is an opposite field approach. And that's one thing I just mentioned. So this kind of goes together a little bit with a low effort level, but as the hitter starts to pick up their effort level, they'll also work the opposite field much more. Now, what I noticed working with and playing with a ton of really good players is that almost all of them start with an opposite field approach. Again, you almost never see, and I've seen all of these players hit. I've played with Adrian Gonzalez, who's one of the best hitters I've ever seen, uh, but I've seen Manny Ramirez hit batting practice plenty of times. I would go and watch opposing teams batting practices uh, while I was a player because I wanted to see what they were doing. And you'll almost never, I mean, I, I've seen Manny hit a bunch of batting practices and I don't think I've ever seen him come out in the first round and just start trying to blast balls to left center field and hit home runs, okay? But what I have seen him do every single time is that he will come out and again, you'll see the low effort, but you'll also see that he's gonna back the ball up and he's gonna work on getting his barrel in the zone early and you're gonna notice that he's gonna hit balls to right center field a lot. And by doing that, you're working on turning the barrel deep, being inside the ball, all things that we talk about, controlling your weight, all the mechanical things that we talk about that are so important, if you want to hit a ball well into the opposite field, you have to do those things. And so by focusing on hitting the ball to right center field, to the opposite field, if you're a lefty, it's just left center field, by being able to consistently hit the ball there, well then you know, one, that your body's doing the right things, and two, if it's not going where you want, well then we've got to work on controlling our weight and not being too rotational and being more from the inside. And so having that approach is really important because it forces you to work on it and pay attention to it and it gives you feedback if you cannot hit the ball over there well then we have some issues the third thing is is focus now you need to have focus to be able to do these things so again when i watch high level hitters hit there's very little talking they're not in the cage right this is what i see with a lot of younger players they're in the they're in bp or they're in the batting cage and they're talking yeah yeah i know right yeah that was that was really funny last night yeah it was really funny and you know and they're talking and they're hitting and they're not focused when you watch a high high level player hit they're not messing around right they are very focused on all of these things but they're really focused on the details so they have a plan with every swing. They're never just in there swinging. And I talk a lot about Adrian Gonzalez because I played with him for a while and saw him do this for many, many years. And here's a player that had the ability that he could just stand there if he wanted to and just blast 100 home runs to right center field. He was a lefty. But he wouldn't. He'd be extremely focused and detail-oriented. And he would hit ball after ball 
hard line drive to the opposite field over and over and over again. That takes focus. Right? He's not just up there swinging. I talked about Manny Ramirez. That takes focus. So really important to focus on what you're trying to do. Batting practice is not just a time to just kind of get loose. And it can get monotonous if you're a high, high level player that's doing it a lot, it can get monotonous. But it's the ability to do the boring work well and stay focused that's really, really important. And so focusing in on all of the things that we're talking about, and it's, it's easier said than done, but if you have the focus to be able to do that and take a consistently good BP day after day after day, it doesn't mean that you're gonna get great results in every swing, but there is an intent behind every swing and a focus, a laser-like focus for every single swing that you take. If you can do that, you're gonna be a much, much better hitter. Now the fourth thing that you'll see, and this goes a little bit with the opposite field approach, but it doesn't just have to be the opposite field, is focusing on being from the inside. Now you can think about this two ways. One way you can think about it is you can split the ball in half and really focus on that inside part of the ball. So if I'm a right-handed hitter, I'm focusing on this inside part of the ball. I'm only seeing the inside part. I heard Barry Bonds talk about that once, covered the ball like this, and he said, this is the part of the ball that I see. I don't see the outside part of the ball. So focusing on that inside part of the ball. When I focus on the inside part of the ball, I'm going to attack it more from the inside. We talk a lot about being from the inside, and then I can release my barrel out whenever I want to. But when I focus on that inside part of the ball, it doesn't mean I can only hit the ball over there. I can still pull the ball from being inside or thinking about the inside part of the ball, right? But I can pull the ball with good spin. If I attack from the outside, so if I'm out and around the ball and I'm hitting the outside part of the ball, I'm going to get a lot of hook spin or rollover spin. So if I'm out like this, I'm going to hook everything. So if you're hitting balls to the pull side in batting practice or in games, and the ball is constantly hooking and going foul and it's not true backspin, well then you're probably around the ball. But if you focus on that inside part of the ball, and you can visualize, again, the inside part of it, or you can take the ball, whether it's a baseball or a softball, and you can set it up to where you attack that inside seam. So if I put the ball there, and I think about attacking that inside seam, I can still pull the ball, but I can pull the ball with better spin. So I attack the inside part of the ball there, and I just hit that ball to the left center, but that ball was true. If I wasn't in a cage, that ball would have continued to travel straight. There was not gonna be any hook to it. So that's what backspinning and having true ball flight is all about. And it's because I'm attacking from the inside. So those are the four things. If you can do those four things in batting practice, that means that you are doing what I see high level players doing. And they, they say success leaves clues, right? Look at the players that are successful and what are they doing? And that's how you learn from them. And that's one thing I feel really lucky about with myself is that I was able to see and play with and against some of the best players in the world and see how they went about their business. And these are four things that I noticed all of them doing or pretty much all of them doing. So let me know if you have any questions. In the comment section below, if you want two free drills, I put two free drills down there. Uh, I pin the comment, just go and click there and you'll get two of our free drills that'll help work on your swing mechanics. That's all I have. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Give it a thumbs up, share the video with all your friends, and we'll talk to you later. If you've got hitters that you're looking to improve before the start of next season, this is essential for you. Matt Antonelli here, former major league player, first round pick, and college coach. With this course, we're gonna show you exactly, step by step, how to generate power, develop bat speed, and enhance swing mechanics. Regardless of your hitter's age, this course is going to deliver advanced hitting techniques that will allow any hitter to get better and make an impact at the plate this spring. We have a full catalog of training content that you can access from anywhere at any time. This course is perfect for players, parents, coaches, instructors, and more. It offers a comprehensive package of drills and techniques that you can directly implement. Our course has helped hitters all over the country at different competition levels, and the feedback that we've received has been outstanding. The work you put in now will drive your success at the plate this spring. Get the essential knowledge that you need to take your game to the next level.